Alright, so now we need to rotate it to face the other direction. Shouldn't be that tough, really. I hope. Don't know what this thing does still, honestly. That's one. Wait, what? Really? Convenient. What do you do? Teach me your secrets! Alright, well that was way quicker than expected. <laughs> All I had to do was wind it around real quick. I guess, yeah, I already lined them up the hard way around, so now I just need to take the two sets of two layers at a time to line up the way I needed them to be already. Okay, sure. So now we're on the other side. So yeah, the entire interior of the room does not move, only the exterior. The heck are you? Interesting. So these are essentially five more inventory items, but they didn't want to add them to your very extensive inventory? I honestly wish I could stash these somewhere, but I, of course that would potentially break the game if the game ever locks me in, in a room or something. Alright. So it's essentially five more inventory items because they have to be placed in the correct order. Yep. I'm sure there'll be notes around here for that. So nothing else besides the desk? It's just a light? Okay then. Anyone else getting uh, the room vibes right around now looking at this? You've managed to get into the mechanics. Clearly, you've completed all of my previous challenges. This could mean that you are a genius, fulfilling all of my expectations, and you are truly worthy of all the further knowledge I'm about to offer you. Or you could just as well be a fool, considering the fact that the power of Quorn literally gives you infinite time to guess the solutions of all my puzzles. One way or the other, I'm sure your presence here is no mistake. Your participation in this matter is absolutely essential. If she were to appear to you, she would try to poison your mind with her misleading lies. You must ignore her, just as I once did. I love that. You might be an idiot, I don't know, you have infinite time to do all this. <laughs> Grandescent Aukta Labor. By hard work, all things increase and, gl and grow. Taking a picture of that diagram, obviously, just in case I forget that it's on this letter. From number five... From number five, number three is reachable for, Okay, I need to fix this real quick. I'm trying to make the game run better, so I was turning down some details, but jeez... Apparently if you turn down texture quality, which I think was making the game run better, it leads to the freaking letters being unreadable. Yeah, look at that. Oh well. Yeah, I think we should just accept frame drops in this game, honestly. The frame rate doesn't exactly affect the gameplay generally. And yeah, unfortunately a lot of open world puzzle games aren't usually very- aren't exceptionally optimized. Pretty sure Doom ran ex exceptionally well, and that was probably much more hardware intensive, reasonably. Uh, from number five, number three is reachable with a knight's move. Oh, chess references. Gritty. The sum of the numbers in the third row is seven. Number four stands alone in the column on the far left. If none of the rows can stand... Oh, in none of the rows can stand a number that's greater than the numbers in the row below it. If you add up all the numbers in the fourth column, the result is three. Number five is the only one standing alone in both its row and a column. Huh. Okay. So five is completely alone. Four is just alone specifically in column on the far left. Okay, and I can't pick you up. So four... Yep, is alone on the left. Oh wow, the perspective of this is going to be a little janky, isn't it? Trying to trying to c control where some of these go is going to be a little weird. So four is alone on the left somewhere, but its column could be anywhere. Interesting. And they, they're supposed to be in a certain order. If you uh, 
And none of the rows can stand a number that's greater than the numbers in the row below it. Okay. So, low numbers on the bottom, high numbers on top, apparently. The fourth row adds up to three. Fourth column. The fourth column is three, which is noteworthy, because that means that the fourth column is either... It's either three on its own, or it's both one and two in the last column. Five and four cannot be in the last column, because they, uh, this has to add up to three, and they are both in their own columns. Five is also on its own row. Five is light- it seems likely light that five would be on the bottom, specifically, so let's move four up a little bit, just as a work in progress. Okay, getting these to go in the right spot's weird. I gotta- I have to ignore my pointer and pay attention to where they are. Let's see. From number five, number three is reachable with a knight's move, so three is offset by five, by two rows, and over by one. So like this, basically. Come on, don't fight me here. There we go. Okay. This is starting. Let's swap these two real quick. I'm thinking about the sums of the rows. Okay, so right now the sums are two, four, four, five. So the sum rule applies. None of them are greater than the one below them. Three and five are offset by knight's row. Four is in its own uh, column. Five's on in its own row and column. Yeah, two, four, four, five. It's the right order. Last, the uh, far right column it sums, it sums up to three. What rules don't work right now? So five, three knights move, right? Yeah. This it's too bad for anyone who doesn't know how to play chess, huh? <laughs> They're just immediately screwed. Uh, the sum of the numbers in the third row is seven. In the third row. Down here. How do I make that seven? Ha. Huh. So here's what I find questionable. If this is- if this row is seven, this row has to be more than seven, right? Oh, it's not a sum thing. And none of the rows can stand a number that's greater than the numbers in the row below it. That just means the numbers in each row have to be... That's right. Okay, so that just means that 5 has to be below 4 or equal to, and 4 has to be below 3, and so on. So that means 1 can't be below 2, for example. Interesting. Well, over, th over here, 3 would make, uh... So you make them the right order. So right here... Three is in the final row. This row has to have a sum of three. It has to be reachable by knights move from five. Five, four, three, two, one. The order's correct. Let's check the rules again. Knights move, yes. Third row is seven. Four and three. Number four stands alone, yeah. Yeah, if you add up all the numbers in the fourth column, the result is three. I think I got it already. Ah, that wasn't too tough. That wasn't too tough at all. My first guess on where to put four and five worked out perfectly, apparently. Makes sense, since there's rules about what to do in this row and stuff like that, and then, then knights move, like, there's only so many variations, I suppose, at that point. Okay, what else is on this table? I didn't even look at the rest of the table yet. I guess that's just a lamp. Okay. I guess that's it, huh? How do I turn you on? This doesn't work anymore, right? Yeah, that, that doesn't do anything anymore. So it's it's hooked in. Was the other one moving yet? I don't think it was. So is there a way to turn this thing on? Let's try the let's go let's go up the ladder. If you go up the ladder, I may be able to just activate the whole thing. There's a lever up there, right? 
So maybe that's what that was this whole time. Makes sense because it makes me far away. From a game design perspective, especially one where we don't want any weird problems to have happen, uh, isolating me with this great distance when I pull a lever that makes something over there move is good for making nothing nasty happen in your game, I suppose. Alright, let's try this. Well... Not sure what I just saw, but that looked interesting. It looks like the in I think the entire room just moved vertically. I think there might have been another room above or below it, and now that's what I- and now that's what's located inside that room. I'm still amused by the fact that you could just go diving off that ladder. Yeah, there's just a new room in here, and these are the symbol- yeah, these are what we saw in the power room. Where are these symbols? Which means something, presumably. <laughs> ah? Is that- Did I power those just now? It makes a sound, which is interesting. I don't know what they're doing necessarily, but that's interesting that it can do that. Huh. Keep that in mind for a bit, huh? Are we dealing with a language again? We're probably dealing with a language, aren't we? Take a quick picture of that. Because these, these panels look like they'd be used to write that language. I am getting abduction flashbacks right now. Is that a sponge? Oh yeah, they would. They probably would use a wet sponge for when they really need to clean off the uh, chalkboard. These look like a bunch of plans. They all have little symbols on them to indicate different codes. Lots of chalk. Ah! That's one of the keys I need. Is that another key I need? Right next to it? But I can only open it by figuring out what's going on here, I guess? I may as well try to use this key, if it is what I think it is. It looks like it's the next one, right? I need one that goes in all four directions at once. What? They don't rotate, do they? No, they just go up and down. Okay, then. That's not what I meant to do. <laughs> ah, crap. Mixed up what button does what. Delete. Delete. Maybe not delete. Delete after I solve it, but I think I'm about to solve it, so I don't think I need it long term. Oh yeah, we don't need you. That's dealt with. That's dealt with. I'll go through these a bit later, perhaps. We've dealt with a lot of these already, haven't we? Oh god, I have so many backlogged things to delete. I say I'm gonna deal with it later, and then I just keep going. I can't help myself. I have to clean up my notebook. We have to get back to it just being the important things, right? I've already used- yeah, I've used both of those codes. Still, still don't know what that thing is, though. That's noteworthy. Oh, we've used the furnace now. Still know what's up with that thing. I could go- I could probably go take my red crystal and put it there, though, now. We know what these mean now. They all just open when you power up that one thing. We've used the weight system over here, too. Wow, a lot of really old ones have been de dealt with now, actually. Is that my first note? That is page one. And we've done it. I've powered on the things, and those are done with. Cool. I had a lot of those, too. That feels good. Alright, so the first one now is the weird battery portal thing at the beginning. Don't know what that is. Then they have these little pedestals that might matter. And then you get right back to where we are. Wow, okay. This notebook got shorter fast. Neat. This is what I need, though, right? Or not? There's five of them, and it's a weird gear prong thing. Interesting. I thought this might be what that is, but this, that doesn't that doesn't really make sense, does it? Okay. Yeah, I don't think it's for here then. Is there some chest I haven't opened yet that I need to use this in? 
Is there any weird forgotten details in this in this room, by the way? Weird power room. We have this weird thing. Nah, don't got a lot to go on. Let's just get back in here. It might have it might have something to do with this room, and I may be getting ahead of myself. All right. Well, if nothing else, that's in there, and I need that because that is one of the one the keys we use in that room. That doesn't seem especially important. So we have a series of quadrants, or I, would you call them octants, when they're divided into divisions into eight. There's little marks along the way, little symbols that might indicate directions or something. We can't take the hourglass. There's a ruler here. Why not? Can I interact with any of these things? No. Oh? What might you be? You can't just jam that in there? <laughs> Why do I have this jug still? How do I get rid of this jug? You seem important, right? Maybe I stick that somewhere? Don't have a lot to go on, but this thing... Must go somewhere. Oh my god, this weird thing. Look at it, it's got four weird white pins. Okay. So that's how wrong it is, right? So... The... Take the base one down and the third one up, it would appear. So you need to go down. That's how far- that's how far you go? Okay, you need to go down and you need to go up. Got it. Ah! what I do? <laughs> what did I do? What are you? Um... What have I done? Okay, cool. Sweet, nothing happened. Okay. Oh! You can press the buttons, okay. So... Maybe... Maybe the thing you're clicking on is the source? That's what's going on here. Okay. So I'm going for this yellow li this line up here. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's five. That's four. Eight. All right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So we need to fill them into a thing that's only one taller than these two guys. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yep. Awkward. Okay. So this is four, that's four. That would make it to eight, but then I'd have to have some way to extract more from the pile. And that ain't easy. What if I use its height? If I add you, then you, then you won't fully deplete, which allows me to have sort of a random one sticking out out here, which I hope is useful. <laughs> If I put you in here, what do I end up with? That's three. I basically need to find a way to extract, like, two, don't I? Let's see. 
So I can extract four at a time. That's five, three, that's eight. Hey, I've made them uh, progressive in size, like uh, cell phone bars. It skips one. It goes one, three, four, five. So it skips two. But still. <laughs> yeah. So I need to add seven. That's not easy. I could add four right now. That would take it to seven. And then we would need three. But that's a weird number to get to. Huh. What am I going for? How do I go about this exactly? Let's see. Ooh. I see a chance to extract more again. Okay. Because this is currently five. This only fits four. Which gives me one extra to stash over here. There we go. That's a big deal. So now I've got two floating over there. And now I just need to add two intervals of four. And then I have eight. And then I have then I just need to add the two. That's not so tough. Yep, nailed it. I do a good. <laughs> Is that was that even my goal? There's not much indication that I did it right. Uh hi, crystals. Is that what I wanted? What's you what are you are you part of this puzzle? I can never tell. Well you're open right now, that's interesting. You were closed before, right? So now I have control over you. Does one of you go in here? Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. Okay. Oh, am I changing my orange torch to something else? So now I've got a different goal. Okay, so this is gonna keep going. So, we're still dealing with the same canister, so the same rules more or less apply. It's just that this time my goal is to get... I mean, I basically just gotta isolate two all over again, right? Because it looks like I have to get to six this time. That's the same uh, answer I had last time. It's, this, it's the same solution as last time, just, I, just I'm not uh, doing two sets of four, I'm just doing... So that's one on its own. Let's put it over here out of habit, because that's where I've been putting the isolated ones. Then we try to drain you in here. That leaves three. I feel like I missed a step here. Oops, that was just dumb. So we put you four of you in here. If I added these three, we'd have one left, so this would take it down to three. Do I want three though? I want one on its own, because then I can add two ones and then a set of four, because four is easy to get. Am I blanking on my previous method here? Probably. Yay. Yeah, how did I do it last time? Crap. 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 Alright. Yeah, that adds a few of you. Sure. If I put you four in here and extract this into there, it'd go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'm essentially just looping on myself, aren't I? 
Oh look, three stacks of four. <laughs> For all the good that does me. Huh. Am I? I'm forgetting something I did last time. That's weird, right? I had no trouble isolating two of them last time, and now I've lost track of the sequence I did. Crap. Let's see. What good would it do to merge them all together? It just creates one continuous stack, huh? There's three. So agonizingly close to almost making sense of this, aren't I? Okay. Here we go. Oh yeah, I finally got it. I th think. Uh, I'm on the right track here. Cause this minus three equals that. So if I put you here. Yes. Oh my God, my stupid brain took so long. Stupid brain. We were so close, for so long. Oh, more? Uh, yep, rule of threes. Applies again. Going back up to the top again? So I need to isolate two of them. I need, I need all of them except for two of them to be in that row. So the moment I can isolate two, we're solid. That's bound to be the start, right? So we got three and one. Yeah, that's all, that's all I need. When this drains in, it'll leave one behind. Okay, good. There we go. I, I got really stuck on the second one for some reason. That probably should not have been the case, huh? Oh, well. Get a white crystal now. Well, that seems like a big deal, doesn't it? Yes, it does. It, did it fly off? Holy crap. Excessive. Okay, so now we know what that key did. Delete you real quick. Still don't know what the symbols mean. That's a big deal. Don't know what the gears mean. Don't know what a few things mean. But here we go, I've, got, I've crafted a white torch. And I'm sure that's a big deal. So I bet you go in here, right? Oh my god! You know what this looks like to me? A cliffhanger! <laughs>